talk a bit about the hand of God. What does the Bible say about the hand of God? Can we consider a few scriptures? Number one, the Bible lets us know that creation and sustenance is by the hand of God. Be ready to consider a few scriptures. Number one, creation and sustenance is by the hand of God. Isaiah 48 13 creation and sustenance were examining from scripture the implication what does the Bible have to say about the hand of God here's what the Bible says my hand had also laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand had spanned the heavens when I call them they stand together this is God for you the hand of God is responsible for creation creation not just of the earth of your destiny of your life of the things that should be and are not yet are as i begin to show you this scripture your faith must be positioned because whatever the hand of god did before it must do today in someone's life in the name of jesus christ can we consider another scripture psalms 95 verse 4 and 5 psalm 95 verse 4 and 5 Let's read together. Ready? One to read. In his hands are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills are his also. Next verse, please. The sea is his and he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. The hand of God. Let's consider one last scripture. Job 12 verse 10. What does the Bible say about the hand of God? The Bible says that creation and sustenance is by his hand. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing? And all the breath of all mankind, including your enemies. So anybody who makes a boast should realize that his hand in the midst of that pride is in the hand of God. His entire life and that god can do whatever listen to what he said in whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath ah what betides a man who god closes his hands against do you believe scripture the faith of the believer is only built on truth that comes from scripture there is no other information outside of scripture that can build the believer's faith in whose hand is the soul of every living thing so when someone says except i don't wake up you will not enjoy tell him ah what a statement the psalmist said i lay me down and i slept he said the reason i waked was because the lord sustained me not because it was morning because there are people who sleep in the night and don't wake up in the morning it is only god that wakes men including those who plan to do evil is god that wakes them to have the idea to even continue this is how powerful god is are we together number two what does the bible say about the hand of god faith is rising in someone faith is rising in someone in the name of jesus christ faith is rising in someone God protects by his hand. This is the second thing the Bible says about the hand of God. John 10, 29. I like this. God protects, oh, he protects by his hand. John 10, 29. My father which gave them me is greater than how many? Whether they like you or not, my father who gave them me is greater than all. He says, and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand they may remove you from the office but not from the father's hand are we together have you seen a farmer hold a seed he takes that seed anywhere he wants no one is able to pluck joshua selman out of my father's hand you think i'll call your name no sir it's too early to call your name in the name of jesus no man is able to pluck joshua selman out no man not by wizardry not by evil uh -uh. jealously protected by the hand of god no man so when the hand of god comes to you 
protection has come isaiah 41 10 isaiah 41 10 don't be tired of scripture so this is where your strength lies this is where intelligence in the spirit lies fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed joshua selman for i am your god i will strengthen thee how i will help thee i will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness i will uphold you i will uphold you that's what god is doing for someone i will uphold you so the bible teaches us that god protects by his hand number three are we learning god executes judgment by the power of his hand mm. the meting out of judgment over the enemy over the wicked is by the hand of god isaiah 19 16. isaiah 19 16. in that day shall egypt be like unto women and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the lord of hosts which he shaketh over it do you know what this means that god decides to wave his hand over egypt and the bible says that effect will make people tremble like a woman who has lost her sense of security god executes judgment zephaniah 1 4 zephaniah 1 4 some of you don't read that part of the bible zephaniah 1 4 look for it are you ready and i will stretch out my hand upon judah and upon all the inhabitants of jerusalem i will cut off the remnant of baal from this place and the name of the chemarims and the priests i will cut them away all by my hand i will stretch out my hand in the course of prayer we are going to pray there are people who will receive the visitation the judgment dimension of god's hand that everything that has vowed that we will not let you go if he survived january till november at this oasis conference and in the name of jesus christ the lord of sabaoth the one whose name we have called he will stretch his hand so mighty and bring judgment upon the wicked in the name of jesus 